I know that in some ways the company's almost been a victim of its own success because a lot of regulars at some studios have said that, oh, well, there's now all these new people, it's more crowded, uh, the drop-in nature of your customer changes the tone of some of the classes. How are you dealing with that? You know, it's something that we're constantly always thinking about. We are about building a sustainable growth engine for any of these studios. We're giving them tools to better grow their businesses over time, and we work with them on inventory allocation. So as we see trends, you know, if there's too many new people in a class, we try and work with them on those levels of engagement to make sure that the class doesn't get full of only class pass people unless they want it to. And how are the studios themselves compensated? Because they're basically offering a discounted rate to get your customers in the room. So what's the benefit for them? Yeah, so you know, for them, it's incremental revenue. It's a lot of new people that wouldn't be able to experience their studio if it wasn't for ClassPass. It's constant access for them to eyeballs and people wanting to come into their studio and it's a growing revenue stream for them. They don't need to be thinking about it constantly. They're able to do what they love to do, which is teach. And is the hope that a lot of those members will be converted into full-time members at an individual studio? Is that part we of the pitch? We see conversion to mm -hmm. a lot of the studios. At the same time, we see a lot of people stay with ClassPass, but continuously engage with the same studios. So we're seeing LTV at the studios just as well as they would for any of their other LTV customers. LTV is? For their lifetime value. I see, okay. Yes, exactly. Because for me, I mean, I, I once tried and class pass, why would you, I mean, I would much rather have all that option, all that choice. I'm what's called a maximizer. I like to have every option. So yeah. I probably wouldn't be inclined to ever join a specific studio if I was a class pass member, but that's not totally part of the, the, the goal. One of the biggest things we think about is growing the market, right? 70% of our users weren't doing this regularly before. So we've helped people actually engage with these studios go to class, which they weren't even doing before. So a lot of what we focus on is not necessarily say, let's mix who's already going into fitness. How do we add new people into the mix to make people you know, live more actively?